Hello, sweet souls. Happy Wednesday, October 25th. This is going to be a full reading on TikTok and YouTube. Um, if I exceed the 10 minutes, follow me on YouTube. Watch the remaining of the reading. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So I know there's a lot of crazy energy right now with the eclipse, with the full moon at the end of the month. So let's just see what's in the energy for today, what you need to be aware of. Let's see. Truth and only truth for the collective. What do they need to know for their highest good? Truth and only truth for the collective. Truth and only truth for the collective. imagine right now is a good time for you to focus on your manifestation with to the sea whatever you're manifesting it's going to come in it's going to take you someplace different it's going to add more peace into your life but i see travel i see whether it is physically traveling or energetically you're going someplace different and it's based on your manifestation so they're saying really focus on that Put the work in toward what it is you want to create in your life because this is a journey. I feel journey um, and it's faded. It's meant to happen. So they want you to really focus on what it is you're manifesting in your life because you're getting ready to go on a new path, a new journey. They said continue to put in the work, okay? Then I see someone here that's stuck in the past with Between Worlds. Um, they're at a fork in the road. They have to make a decision. 313 could be significant, but it's not affecting you because you're in the energy of peace. You have this little heart. You're attracting like-minded people, friendships, soul tribes, love. You're relaxed. You're just in this Zen energy because you know you've done all that you need to do. You're, you're following with faith and that's what's changing your luck and your happiness. You've been flexible. With the universe and now you have divine assistance here so that's beautiful so let's see what this is about guys all right please clarify imagine please clarify imagine please clarify imagine yeah you're imagining a better life, one where you receive exactly equal to what you give. Um, these are equal partnerships, equal relationship, friendships, um, business. You are imagining, you are manifesting stability, independence, uh, feeling self-confident, and I see it, it's here. That's beautiful. A lot of pinnacle energy, a lot of financial growth. Please clarify to the C. Yeah, to the sea, you taking a brand new path, a new journey, a new door opening up, whether this is a physical or a spiritual journey. This is what's fated for you. This is good karma and this is justice for you. This is the scales being balanced. Whatever it is that takes you to this new place, this new path, this new journey is justice. It's justice, it's your good karma. It's the divine calling judgment and deeming you worthy because it's just, it's fair for you. Please clarify, chop wood. <laughs> Please clarify, chop wood. Yeah, this, you taking, you putting in the action toward this goal, this manifestation is faded. It is destined for you. And that's causing some confusion for people around you because they didn't see you as the star, but you are the star. It's like someone is waking up to the fact that they didn't see your true value and worth. They didn't see 
that you were this amazing person. Maybe you're an influencer, maybe you're a healer, maybe you're someone that works in um, um, the medical field that has, you know, some sort of job where you're a counselor, psychologist, you know, whatever. But this was meant, this is who you've always been, but somebody didn't see it. Somebody didn't see that. Somebody didn't see that. All right, please clarify between worlds. Yeah, so somebody that's stuck in the past, the blockage is being able to move forward because you protect your energy with the hermit card. You stay private. You want nothing to do with someone in this vibration. You're protecting your energy. You know the state that this person is in. You know who this person is without their mask. Please clarify, fork in the road. is at a fork in the road needing to make a decision now this can be a fire sign connected to a water sign aries leo sag connected to a cancer pisces scorpio where this couple they are both greedy they only care about money they only care about status <sighs> this person whoever this character is that's at a fork in the road which i believe it's the fire sign because they came out first they're exhausted they could be in a marriage or a commitment with this person and they are completely exhausted physically spiritually emotionally they're not well yeah look at that ten of swords going through endings pain deceptions betrayals wow please clarify peace please clarify peace So you are embracing peace and your spirit guides are moving you on. They're moving you on to victory. You're trusting in the divine and the divine is taking over, taking charge. Then we see a tower moment for this feminine energy who has been spreading lies about you. They're going to receive the tower because they came against you. They said things that weren't true. They defamed you. They were stalking you. And the truth is coming to light about what they did to an empress. High vibrational, divine femme, divine masculine energy that did not deserve this projection of these lies. The defamation that this queen of swords in reverse put out there. Wow. Please clarify, loyal heart. Please clarify, loyal heart. Yeah, as much, so you have this loyal heart, as much as this couple, and this couple keeps coming out, tried to bring chaos and conflict into your life and still play the victim, like you in some way were attacking them, even though you've been in the hermit mode, you've been minding your own business, it's not gonna work. You still have an offer coming in, an offer of love, creative projects that leads to victory. So this, Nothing that they have done has had any effect on God's plan for you. And that's been coming out. Look, devil energy to the king of swords coming against the high priestess. It's a couple. King of swords in the upright attached to the devil. Very narcissistic. This person has no empathy for anyone that they hurt. They don't care. They don't care. This is someone that's like feels soulless. They can do the most horrific things to this high priestess and not feel a bit of guilt. This is a couple. They did it to the wrong person. They did it to a high priestess that's highly favored by God. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry guys, my allergies. Let's see. I think I'm, I'm going to do my deck and then I'll do part two and I'll clarify it with 
the Kipper. Also, if you're interested in purchasing my deck, it's 2888 on sale. And you can email my husband at tashas.merchantgmail.com. All over case, no apostrophe. And um, it's $10, I believe, in the U.S. for tax and shipping. What do we need to know about this couple? Wow, that just flew. Health issues, spiritual sickness. I felt that they weren't well. They want you to make a wish because a wish is coming true. You went through a, a spiritual awakening because of what has happened in this situation. Yeah, you were put in a third party karmic situation and now karma is being dished out. You will have success, abundance, and stability, which is justice for you because you're a light worker. You follow the light of God. You help people. You're a healer, an empath. You have a special mission. Wow. Wow. We got Earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That could be you or someone else. But someone tried to put you, outcast you. They tried to uh, have people look down on you. These were people that could have had a very toxic work environment that were encouraging this behavior. But God's wrath is upon them. Yeah, sleeping with the enemy. This person didn't realize they were connected to a karmic, karmic feminine or karmic masculine. Think of how it resonates. Doing death rituals, praying for your death. Wow. Wow. Tell me about these death rituals. Trying to end you. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be involved. We did see the fire sign and the water sign connected. Doesn't have to be those signs, but yeah. The, let go of the past is it came in reverse. These are angry, bitter, resentful people. But why? Why? Why are they angry at the collective? Because you're spiritually gifted. And they can't stand your light. Well, what's the outcome? You'll still have a soulmate, a divine connection coming in. While they slander, spread lies, but the tower is coming. Life as they know it is about to change in a very painful and drastic way. Yeah, they didn't read the fine print on this contract they went into. This is due to childhood trauma, unhealed wounds. You have a new job or career coming in and justice is being served. Wow, yeah. Continue to get more connected in nature, go in nature, pray more. Um, then we have that water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, deception, betrayal, a liar. Wow. All right, I'm gonna go into part two and I will clarify it with the Kipper and see what other information we can get. Um, I feel like this, is, this couple is coming out more because things are coming to a head. With all these eclipses, full moons, um, you know, God's had enough. God's had enough of these people. God's just, you know, and you know, it's so weird. What came to me last night? So if this masculine energy was trying to set you up and they wanted to provide like text messages to show that you sent false text messages, say they get this partner, this water sign that's in their contacts to send them false texts pretending to be you. All this fire sign has to do is go in their contacts and change that person's name to your name. So when that person texts them these false messages pretending to be you and they screenshot it, what they will see is your name displayed. And I really feel like that's what this person has done to convince other people that you sent messages that you didn't send that had nothing to do with you. But this was the karmic feminine pretending to be you and the masculine changed the name in, in his contacts so that he would be able to take a screenshot and say, see, this is this person saying all this crazy stuff when you had absolutely no nothing to do with it or any knowledge of it. That's what my spirit guides told me last night. If that's the case, wow, that could be a lawsuit for sure. Okay, guys, I'm going to go into part two and see what else I can get. I love you guys. I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.